G'day mate, and welcome back to Dyson Sphere with me, Jetty, and of course, Icarus Prime. And today, today, I'd really like to go off world. I'd really, really, really like to go off world. Uh, if we have a quick look at map view, we can see that we're on the, the fourth planet, uh, rotating around our lovely gas giant. And we have two other choices. We actually have a tidally locked planet, a desert planet all the way out here. Which is nice, it has some iron, it has some copper, uh, has some titanium, which is going to be very, very important to unlock the next science pack. Also some stone, some coal, has a 150% wind energy, 115% solar, 100% construction zone, because it's got no lakes, no nothing. Our other option is a lava planet. Now, lava planet, as you can see, generally they have a lot of resources. So a lot of iron, a lot of copper, uh, a lot of silicon. Well, a, a, a touch of silicon. It's actually the only planet in the system with silicon. Also has a, a, a lot of titanium. Some stone, not a lot of coal. But it also has 70% wind energy, so not great for power. But we can overcome that with... Um, in the freaking handcrafting menu, we have Gemma Geothermal Power Stations, which I would like to make just, just one or two to take with us. Now, to make these guys, we're going to need steel. That's easy. We got that. We're going to need copper. That's easy. We got that. We're going to need photon combiners, which come from prisms, which come from glass, and circuit boards. Uh, good news. We can make 20 of those right up. Done. Uh, we need super magnetic rings, which come from electromagnetic turbines, plus some magnets, plus some energetic graphite. So we really need to automate these guys. We need to automate these for for a number of reasons. Um, the green, the green engines, that's what called. Um, they're going to be the bane of your existence. So we need to automate motors because that's one of the ingredients so they need motors and they need magnetic coils so we need to automate motors electric motors oh, and electric motors require iron 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 with a touch of copper to make magnetic coils and then they come in here where they need all the iron and the electric motors with another bit of iron for the magnetic coil with a touch of copper to make these guys um so that's going to be today's mission and then after we've got those, we can make some super magnetic rings, which require lots of these with, you guessed it, more iron, with now a touch of coal instead. So that's going to be today's plan. We need resources wise. We need a bunch of belts. We need some sorters. We need some assembly machines, maybe some smelters. Probably not. Uh, I do also want to peripherate this build with spray coders. At the same time, we did set up Last episode? Last episode. We set up uh, all the titanium I'd found on the map, and we had run it into our one smelter that could. So I'm going to grab a little bit of titanium in case we get off world. Well, when we get off world this episode. Uh, and we're going to be heading in this general direction. Because I need magnets. Uh, well, magnetic coils to be more exact, which are right here. So we're going to start with magnets. Now, I need... I've done the maths. I need uh, only like three machines making magnetic coils, but they are going to need uh, like eight, 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 nine smelters making magnets. So we have this line, which is doing iron and magnets. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to bet on the fact that the steel is not running flat out because we can see it's not running flat out. So I'm gonna grab three more smelters in there, just squeeze in a few more, and then we're gonna run those into there. So it's gonna give me a little bit of magnets off this line, which we can then run down this line, which will then come down here to make magnets, magnetic coils. All right, so that's the first problem sorted. Uh, second problem is gonna be iron and gears. Now, further north, it seems somebody conveniently left an iron smelter that just needed some recipe set. So we're going to set up that uh, along with their backward. That. Uh, their backward. Probably how they end up backward in the first place. Okay. So we're going to set up uh, both of those. That should 
she'll give us a bunch of iron, which is good because we're going to need a bunch of iron. The next thing we need uh, to make the uh, electric motors is going to be gears. And I am I'm going to prefer like part of these builds, not all these builds, because let's face it, I don't really need to peripherate, peripherate, peripherate. I don't really need to get the extra production out of 328,000 iron. Or when I smelt it. It's not worth the coal cost of the Go Faster ju uh, Juice um, to get the extra production at all. Uh, so, first thing we're going to do is we're going to start making gears. Now, I am going to make a Cardinal Sin. Because in Dyson Sphere, uh, the grid is aligned. So, as you work your way down the planet, things get a little bit more... These squares get a little bit larger. Which means sometimes you can put down a build that works perfectly fine up here, but then occasionally you go over a line and suddenly things don't quite line up anymore. So generally people build east to west, okay? For this one little build, just because it's more convenient, we're going to attempt to build north to south. It doesn't always fail. Occasionally it works fine. Uh, occasionally a solder will just go nope. And we were lucky enough that we can get gears done right there. Okay. Now we have gears. Next thing we're going to need is iron plate. Uh, and then I want to put our engine build somewhere. Now I need about... Nine assemblers doing engines. Uh, sorry. Electric motors, I think they're called. What are they called? Electric motors. Okay, so we're going to plan our nine assemblers here. Uh, three, six, nine. Because I do want to avoid that oil seat because we're probably going to want to tap that later. Uh, so we're going to bring that to there. And move that one belt. And uh, actually, let's bring it down first. Because I do have to put sprayers on this still. Yes! Okay. Uh, run that belt to there. Alright. So, first thing I want to do is I'm going to want to spray both these production lines. Uh, yes, by definitely stacking the sprayers one on top of them. Uh, actually, let's put the sprayer that way. So, I want to spray both these production lines. We also are going to need to get the magnet and the magnetic coils that we're making over here and bring them across. So, let's get that done as well. Do I have no fuel? Almost. Almost out of fuel. Alright. Uh, to do that, we're going to put in a splitter. And this magnetic coil belt is doing two things one it's currently going into um i'm aiming for about the uh upper tile it's going into our our mall it's also going into science so i sort of want to make sure it keeps running uh so we're going to put in a splitter. I might even prioritize that splitter, although I don't expect this build is going to be running flat out. Uh, upper tile. There we go. Upper tile. Uh, I'm going to bring it to... Good question, Jenny. Go to there. Then we'll go to ground level. Go around the corner. Drag the belt there. And remove, 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 remove. Okay. Uh, of course, engines are going to need an output. And then hopefully I've left enough spray space we can go sprayer there and sprayer there. I have. Okay. So. Uh, but we are so going to run. All right. I need an in. I need an out. I need an in. I need an in. In. We're going to need to set this recipe. I drag this along all nine machines when all the belts are in. Bop, bop. Add some power poles. Probably some for me to stand beside first. Uh, and then power pole. Let's go with there. 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 And there. And that should 
get this build up and running. Uh, if I didn't miss a power pole. Bots! Sheesh. Look, our biggest issue is we, we, we've maxed out the red and blue technology. So our bots are really pushing the limit of what our bots can do and their build speed for what they are, but unfortunately, um, we can't get any more tech to get more battery or recharge battery fast or actually go grab some fuel to put in Icarus. Um, yeah, so we're, we're, we're definitely running in a situation where the bots are going about as fast as they can, but the full fuel cells are always empty. Like, always empty. And I want to go in a planetary, which is probably going to make things worse. All right. Before we do anything else, let's find our goop line, our goop line of wonderful goop, because uh, I need to get this uh, that across the map, because we're going to need to speed up this production as well. Well, peripheral, pro, pro, proliferate it. Sounds like we're trying to liberate it. All right, uh, we're going to, I think, a sky belt. Where are we? We are going almost action a straight line, so maybe not a sky belt. Uh, okay, so we're going to come around that power pole. And then I think I'm going to go up. Ooh, no, we're going to go to here onto this uh, fault line. And then I'm going to come up at least a few tiles to every single wind turbine. Of course it does. Okay, there, there, to there, and then we'll sort it out from there. Alright, first things first. Let's get this end of the belt done. And that way the goop can start flowing at the same time. Can I get some power, please? The drones are hungry. Alright. Cool. I'll just stand here and recharge and oh well. Not walking it, Chris. Uh silicon build is going great. Using our poor unfortunate stone. Uh, go Icarus. Are they almost at the speed he can walk at? Almost. And do I have any go faster juice in the inventory? I do. Perfect. Let's fill these guys up manually. Uh, mainly so I don't have any of this crap in my inventory. Alright, so that gets us to here. From here, I should be able to just come down to the correct height and into the first machine what? what okay now it's happy uh and through into the other machines okay so that should get this line peripherated uh and if we come down here this should get the last this belt done actually i might not that we should need it but it never hurts we might actually tag just two extra assemblers on the end. Just in case. Because like I said, this is this this magnetic coil build is designed to run... Well, it is running the whole mall. Plus, I want to bring it up here to not only run our uh, electric motor build. I also want it to run the electromagnetic turbine. So... With these guys up and running, that should get step one complete. We should have the uh, electric motor. Next step is the electric magnetic turbine. So, uh, actually, let's look at the, the electric motor first. So, electric motor, its uses in life is one, to get, get turned into a turbine. Two, you're going to need some to make water pumps. Third, uh, third use in life is a sort of Mark II. So, honestly, it doesn't have a use in life. Um, you're gonna need one machine, one engine machine, uh, what, sorry, one electric motor machine. So one motor machine direct fed into a water pump, and that's it, which is just iron and copper, iron ore, and you just like convert it and smelt it on site and blah, 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 to make a motor to then shove it in there, and that's it, done. <gasps> And Mark II sorters, pretty much the same thing. So we basically want to turn every single motor we've made into a turbine. So to turn them into turbines, we are going to need assemblers. I have decided we're going to do 
five. Five turbines. Okay. Which are gonna need motors, which are is enough. We just automated them. We also need magnetic coils, which uh, we already have here, and they've already been pre-sprayed with the proliferator. So we're going to bring them off the end of the motor build down to the turbine build, which needs the recipe changed. And bop. Okay. Uh, and then we need an output. That pretty much sums it up. Uh, so we just need to add sorters. That would be an input. That would be an input. That would be an output. That would be a click, a drag, a drop. Build is done. Now. That's got us as far as the electric magnetic turbines. But what I really need is a super magnetic ring, because I need super magnetic rings to build the geothermal power plant to go to our brand new star, our brand new planet, which is a lava planet, which has some geothermal that we can tap into. And the super magnetic rings are super expensive and go into super late item things like accumulators just frustrating that they happen to be in accumulators they go into rail ejectors okay um eventually dyson sphere is meant to have combat in the second half of this year i'm really hoping we have some sort of rail guns um it might have something to do with me recently watching the expanse maybe i, I just like rail guns let's be honest um so i'm really hoping we have rail guns you know we can fire sails at high speed into whatever the meanies happen to be when they get released uh we also have the ray receiver and mark three belt and now you can see whether a large source of your super magnetic rings are going to end up disappearing because belt you just go through it like there's no tomorrow so we need to automate this uh so first thing we're going to be doing is bringing this out far enough that i can put another sprayer on it let's, let's be honest we're gonna definitely proliferate pro proliferate oh it's like 1 a.m oh 11 11 quarter, quarter past 11 at night it, it feels later okay so we're gonna want to proliferate this which means i need magnets oh look somebody happened to have left a giant magnet belt in the air doing a whole lot of nothing we're just gonna rip up that half uh because i want to bring i have spray on me no good I want to bring that at least to there. Uh, no. We, uh, no. We want to put it through a splitter first. Because we're definitely going to have other uses for it. And actually we want to change over the splitter. I want... So there's multiple different types of splitters. There is the square splitter. Very, very bad splitter. There is the upper down a square split up, um, which even if the upper layers are up high, you can see it doesn't go hard up against a belt. And then finally, because lots of people wanted to make bus spaces and this was too wide, the devs changed it, made it a little bit thinner. So we're going to use the little bit thinner version uh, for the simple reason of I want to backtrack this belt back upon itself. Uh, and it means I can put the next belt hard up against the previous belt and keep the profile nice and small. All right, this belt, we're gonna be spraying. Uh, next belt I want to spray is gonna be the magnet belt. Uh, again, I want about five assemblers. Sure. Uh, so I need to get magnets in here and I need to spray them. Oh. Oh. We'll work out the spraying in a minute. Uh, so we're going to remove from there to there. I'm going to grab this belt and I'm going to drop it in height. Uh, to there. I want to really hit about here. So upper tile. There. Then down to there at ground level. We're going to grab the sprayer. I'm going to have to put a sprayer at this end. And we're going to have to bring our Go Faster Juice uh, out of there around over the top. Just because magnets happen to come in from the right hand side. Uh, so that'll make the magnets go faster. And then if we set these to the super magnetic rings, that's the one. Uh, there is 
Or well, one other thing we happen to need, which is energy graphite, which comes from... Oh, look! There happens to be a coal patch right here. Like somebody planned this episode out. All right. But we need to get a smelter here. I don't need a great smelter. I don't even know that I need a... Need a... I, I basically need an okay semi-working smelter because... This this system's not going to run well. In theory, we're actually going to take most of the green... Get one in there? I can. Turns out that one can float. Alright. I'm going to be taking most of the turbines and actually pushing them into other products. This is like a little bit of excess. So, we just need a horrible little smelter right about here... Uh, which again, I'm going to make a cardinal scene. I'm going to build it uh, north to south rather than east to west. We, yeah, I want to join three belts together because I'm a bit of a nutcase. All right, uh, we want one, two, three. We'll have you be the return belt. Production one, two, three, one, two, three. Uh, we're going to go input. Output as always, set the recipe, and we will drag and drag, remove that. And wind turbine? Yeah, wind turbine in there? Oh, I can. Alright, well, that solves the first problem. Uh, wind turbine there. I just want to replace some of the turbines I've pulled up. You know, there's nothing worse than spending all the time working on power and then ripping up the actual things, making you all the power because they're in the way of your construction. Alright, so that should power up this, and we're just going to sneak that between the magnets and the rest of the build uh, will come up. We need to give ourselves at least a tiles gap to go around that, and... Oh, let's spray this as well. Um, okay, new plan gonna bring that to here then we're gonna bring it around to there we're gonna put another sprayer oh wrong way uh, okay. ah! I definitely pressed the wrong belt it's all the rush to get to space I made a mistake all right there to there the squeeze through there go around the wind turbine. Oh. Around the wind turbine, I said. Okay. To then come down to there and then into there. Alright. So then we want a sprayer, which is going to go there. We're going to remove that belt. We're going to come into that sprayer. Uh, I'm going to come out two tiles in case I want to spray the output. And then we're going to come in there instead. And I'm going to remove all those belts. Okay, you are going to be the output. And we are going to go in, 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 out. And then drag and drop. And we should, with some power, be good to go. Uh, also main storage box right about here, let's say. And we're going to put a uh, solder on there. Now I'm going to have a couple of problems with this build. I don't think... It's a three second craft and it needs three magnets. Uh, the magnets are on the close belt. It might actually grab the materials fast enough. We might be okay. Uh, I was going to say I thought we are going to have problems with solder speed. I was going to just randomly upgrade the solders. But maybe I don't need throw magnets and things so it's out of my inventory and we now have super magnetic rings now super magnetic rings super expensive we're gonna cut that back to yeah let's go with three stacks okay but i want some of these i want some of these because this is what we're waiting for to and steel uh oh look there happens to be a steel smelter here and it happens to be full of steel convenient uh I have 200 steel. Uh, I wanted the, the, the super magnetic rings to make these things. So we're going to make a few of these, which should get us uh, everything we need. But there's one other thing I want to make um, before we go off planet. I want fuel. Because at the moment, we're burning, burning uh, well, coal. 
basically coal. And although it has some fuel value, a lot of fuel. Really, really isn't a lot, a lot of fuel. And it turns out that because science is not running, oil is basically not doing much either. Um, and we're completely backed up on hydrogen. So we're going to liberate each of these machines of all the hydrogen that they have. And we're going to come in here and I'm going to make hydrogen fuel cells. Now, hydrogen fuel cells. I need one piece of titanium. So running around and actually picking up rocks to get titanium. Very, very important before you can fly off world. Because it means that for every two bits of titanium ore I found, I found I, I could craft into one bit of titanium plate and get whatever it's called. And I can collect hydrogen, which we have plenty of, to make hydrogen fuel cells. And each hydrogen fuel cell has 54 megajoules worth of power. Compared to the six I have for the energetic graphite. These also have a 50% fuel chamber generation. So I get basically 50% extra power. They burn faster. This has a 200%. So I want to craft a few of these, like all the ones that I can. Uh, I'm out of hydrogen. And as we go looking... Really? I cleared the backlog. Oh no, there's some. Uh, hydrogen fuel cells... No, nope, I'm still short. Uh, I really don't know. Uh... Okay, now I'm out of titanium. Perfect. And I can take whatever hydrogen's left and drop it right there. Hydrogen does have a fuel value, but it's not a lot and it doesn't last long and that's perfectly fine. All right. So with that done, we're basically ready for interstellar flight. Uh, we're now out of trees, aren't we? Uh, oh. Yeah, we've burned all the trees, cool. And we converted them all into organic crystals. Organic crystals we'll be needing in a future episode. What else is in my inventory I don't really want? Lots of them. Uh, okay, sort the inventory. Okay, we're going interstellar. Uh, there's there's some important things I want to take with me. Uh, like, not that. And not that. And not the silicon. And not the copper. And not that. And not that. And not that. Not that. Not that. No. 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 No, I don't need assemblers. We're not going to... mm, no, we're probably actually going to do some assembly. Uh, where are we? Alright, I want assemblers. We're going to get a stack. Just just a clean stack of 50. Uh, we're going to want sorters. Uh, clean stack of 400. We'll back the excess. We want belt. Uh, in fact, I'm having an issue with the belt. Come back in. Uh... Have those. I'm having an issue with belt uh, not being made fast enough. So one thing I do want to do is just swipe an upgrade planner across the belt line, also across the assembler line, also across the sorter line. I want this to be able to output belt faster. Okay, because this is doing you know length three one per second, about one trip per second, which means it's taking a long time for me to get enough belt in here. Yeah, you can, and I'd probably, depending on how much belt you're going through and how fast you're building, possibly out of seconds order. You know, have them both going at full speed. The other option is you don't have the two ingredients. As soon as we add the two ingredients, because we do have the technology for... Nope, uh, that's the one I want. Uh, okay. Go there, fine. Your other option, which is probably an even better idea, is actually upgrade you to Mark III. Because, uh, way faster. Way faster. Orders. Eh. Orders is generally enough of a buffer, but you know what? Not lack of replacing item. I only grabbed one, did I? Grab a second one. And done. Right, that should keep us empty. Alright, where were we? We were putting the Mark II sorters in the box. Alright, so I want a bunch of Mark I sorters. Who's the... Oh, I have heaps. Uh, we're also, because we're going off-world, yeah, I want all the belts. Uh, we're going to want smelters 
Back of fifth. Uh, two stacks. Uh, also want uh, power poles I can drag, i.e. wind turbines. Uh, we might... Uh, wind turbines... I've got my two belt, but I don't really want to use my... Um, what else do I want to go off world? Uh, oh, oh, uh, if I actually bring back a pile of stuff, I want some storage boxes at this end, if I bring things back, you know, you go away on holidays, you come back, you always seem to have more crap than when you left, uh, so I want some storage boxes here, so if I come back with hands full, I have somewhere to dump things, at the same time, I'm gonna grab more storage boxes, in case I find things there that I want to keep. Uh, I do not need the sprayers, so we're going to dump those. And I think we're good. Obviously, I'd, I'd really love a lot more belts. You are going absolutely flat out even. Two. Part three, sort of. Uh, you know what? We're going to grab the other one. It's spending five, four, three. Um, It's finally above. We're making 54 per minute. Holy crap. Okay. That's a lot. All right. Uh, so I want to go interplanetary. Uh, do we want to go that straight away or do we want to... Now let's go interplanetary. All right. So what I want to do is we want to pick our target, which is the lava planet. I want to click this button. And then I want to click the indicator button. So it's going to draw a line from where I am in fact, from Icarus's little footsies, directly to where I have to go. There's one other very important thing. It also, if we look at the orbit view, lets me see what the distance is. At the same time, we can see that we are rotating around this way. It's rotating around this way. So it's going to rotate because it's some quick orbital mechanics uh, our orbital period is 900 seconds your orbital period is 1400 seconds so we're actually going to catch up slowly so i could wait and have a shorter flight uh and wait till we you know we catch this planet or i just go for it uh because i've done a few flights we're just going to go for it we're going to go for it. A longer hop's fine. Uh, we have fuel. I'm going to put in some precious fuel. Uh, and we're going to go skyward. So, I need to press, double tap space to get to the air, get into the air. Hold space to get some at uh, altitude. Aim at my target. Hold shift, which will accelerate us up. And we're in space. We're in space and we can see our sail speed down the bottom. And we can also see... Uh, 3.6 megawatts burning one of these guys. So, I need to keep where I want to go in the reticle. Yeah, it's important to have the cross here. Hold down shift. I know, hold down uh, W to make sure I'm aiming to go forward. And what I want to do is I sort of want to lead the planet. Um, because the planet's in motion, I don't want to aim exactly for the planet. I want to sort of keep the planet and the reticle in relation to one another not moving. That's that's sort of the plan. Um, but I definitely want to keep pressing W to make sure I keep aiming for the planet and I don't miss. Perfect, perfect landing. All right. And we have another milestone. Excellent. Uh, 0.98 uh, AU. Okay, so we made some decent distance. We've got another milestone, 11 out of 42. And we're on a new planet. Now, on a new planet. I want to look for our silicon vein, which is the down and to the left. Is it down to the right? No, it's literally on the other side of the planet. Okay. But so we're going to go for a quick jaunt around the planet. Now, I don't have any backup power. Okay, so I don't, I can't put down some towers and charge up Icarus in, in a hurry. So we need to sort of keep an eye on things or we might have a tragic crash to the ground and then I'll have to wait to recharge. Uh, and I'd probably not like to crash in lava. Just putting it out there. That's the silicon. Okay. So I've got a silicon vein. I've got a copper vein. I've got a titanium vein. That's sort of the things I want. But the first thing I probably want to talk about is the geothermal power plant, which is what we spent all the time waiting for. Now, geothermal power plant makes 2.4 megawatts. 
what? It's not quite true. So if we put this right... Oh, we can see 73%, 93%, 86%, 117, 120, 123. The more in the lava it is, the more power it makes. Um, and that's the mod kicking in with sending the bots off to collect things. I want to get a couple of good ones to start with. 109, uh, 116, 117, and 89, 99. Okay. So with these guys parked down, uh, 109, 123, 116, 119, and 99. I've got 13 megawatts worth of power already, which is perfect because I didn't grab miners. Really? Always forget something. You leave home and you always forget something. All right, we're going to pop some miners on titanium because this is what I need to do. And we're going to set up some mining. Now, I want to mine titanium, obviously. We need titanium for the next science. Uh, and we also need it for the interplanetary stations and a few other things, like I've said. So we want to start mining titanium a lot of it, a lot of it, uh, which means I'm probably going to have to go home because only bringing four miners is probably a mistake. Power pole, power pole, draggable power poles. Where's those? They are to there. Done. Now, titanium smelting. Titanium smelting is two ore over two seconds gives us one uh, ingot. So what I need to do is I need to set up, as always, one, two six six smelters except they're gonna take six six ore in and then they're gonna give me three plate out so I really have to have half of them going into one set of smelters and then directly opposite it uh, one two three right here uh, another set of smelters with an offset sorter and you guys will be doing titanium well and I actually craft I bring any materials to craft those I can craft one excellent okay uh yeah we're gonna want to set up our smelters like so where I feed uh I feed some from one side, some from the other, and we're going to want a storage chest. And I actually want a lot of storage chests. Yeah, a lot. I'm assume this outputs. I don't think it does. And we're going to want two in and three out, I guess. Because basically every bit of titanium I find, I really want in a box. Because right at the moment, I've got no automated way to get it from this planet back to the home planet. The only way I get it from planet to planet is via Icarus power. So that's going to be the plan for the next, I don't know, probably hour. I'm going to run around the planet. I'm going to set up uh, a number of titanium smelters, uh, starting with going definitely going home and getting more damn miners, because that's just embarrassing. The fact that I forgot miners... Found some iron, but not some copper. And and if anybody's cu curious, it, it's the drone clearing mod. And Lava Planets is the single reason why I installed this mod. Because I hate that Icarus gets tripped up on every little thing on these planets. It's vastly improved. Don't get me wrong. It was way worse than the last update. Every rock would trip up Icarus. He couldn't walk on them. At least you know, he could walk up them and things. But I got so sick of it. So, uh, I've installed this mod uh, just to clean up the floor around me. Anyway, uh, this is where I'm going to leave this episode. We're going to come back next episode when we've got, uh, obviously, a whole lot of titanium up and smelted. Probably with a third sorter, because that's not emptying fast enough. Uh, probably also with some titanium mining here, because we chose this one, because it's the only one with titanium. But... I'm going to be calling this episode here. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. If you're new to the series, if you're new to the channel, by all means, click the subscribe button. Lots more Dyson Sphere videos. Uh, blueprints for this one? Probably none. Probably none. I am sharing blueprints along the way, but 
what we're throwing together today is mostly temporary. We will actually we might have a titanium smelter. I might have a titanium smelter. Either way, many many blueprints are already available on my Discord server. The link is always down in the description. And yes, if you're new here, you caught this video out of the blue um, because YouTube recommended it to you. Obviously, click the like button because you made it this far uh, this far into the video. And uh, there's always a link to the playlist right there at the top of the description. Uh, that's pretty much it. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. We'll see you guys in the very next video. Bye.